Okay, so we here we have a, a TH16, and what we did with this little project in the summertime was for it to uh, measure the air temperature outside in the garden. And once we'd achieved over 10 degrees, I set a scene up to control the circulating pump and heater for the swimming pool. As you know, there's no there's no point trying to heat a pool below 10 degrees air temperature. So I waited. We use this system to wait to the mid morning to over 10 degrees air temperature. And then using a scene, we switch on the circulating pump and heater. However, now we've come to the winter time. I thought, OK, we decommission, bring it in for the winter. And what we're going to do with it? So just for a bit of fun, I have taken my supplementary heater. Now, this is this is just a heater, supplementary heater for the guest bedrooms and using a basic smart switch I have taken my 6 amp feed to, go to feed the switch then the control side over here up to a contactor and then the contactor feeds back down to PR1 and PR2. Now, all boiler systems will have a PR1, PR2 or similar named uh, contacts. This is to go to a, maybe a timer or even a thermostat. And they're pretty easy to find once you get the wind diagram out. And say so just for a bit of fun now, what we can do this TH16 could go in one of the bedrooms, one of the guest bedrooms, hide it under the bed or something, and set up a scene to control our supplementary heating. And once that's all in place, we should be able to should be able to uh, test. Okay, Google, turn on the bedroom heating. Turning the bedroom heating on. There we go. Simple as that. OK, Google, turn off the bedroom heating. Sure. Turning off the bedroom heating. Let's see. Only a bit of fun. Simple little project this morning. Uh, and then what we'll be able to do, we'll go back into the... Uh, application rename the this device to bedroom heating rather than pool heating and set up a small scene so as we get to our desired temperature that will control this device switching on the supplementary heating so a bit of fun cheap project what are this 10 euros 10 euros Super bit of fun. Just quick one. Remember, we're we're talking three phase, so we must power all this stuff down while working on it. If you're not familiar, you're not experienced, you're not confident, do not touch. Ask somebody who is. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.